But we live in an amazing time. We live in an amazing technological age. We were alive for the greatest invention ever. I'm convinced of it. The iPod. Oh my gosh. Do you remember holding an iPod for the first time? Just, you couldn't even comprehend what you were doing. Like, what is this iPod? How, how many songs does it hold? Every song that I've ever wanted? Even the ones that I hate? This is, this is fantastic. But the, the iPod didn't become the greatest invention because of the number of songs that it holds. It became the greatest invention because what did we have before we had iPods? What did we have? Walkman CD players, right? They called it portable, but it really wasn't because you had to walk around like this. Because <laughs> of the anti-skip. Do you remember anti-skip? That freaky thing? Just walking around, don't skip, don't skip, don't skip. Wind blow. <laughs> What a primitive time. My first CD, no anti-skip. My second CD player, 40 seconds of anti-skip. Oh, that was awesome. Now I could mow the lawn and go jogging, right? I still had to hold it out like this because who had pockets big enough to hold this huge rectangle? I'll tell you who, everyone who had Jinko jeans, bam! I was ready. Pockets so big you could fit a baby which I did in my eighth grade health class. It was fantastic. <laughs> Cradled in there. But, oh man, you hold that iPod, man, and you are just loving it. Just, it never skips. It never skips! How much does it cost? $500. <laughs> Worth it, I'm in. <laughs> and then Jinko Jeans disappeared. <laughs> Thank you, iPod, for saving our music and fashion. They did so much for us.